All right, guys, time to do another gizmo. Your favorite, I know. So here's what you're going to do to get to the gizmo. You're going to go to your class link screen, this one. You're going to find the blue and white icon with the G on it and click on it to open it. Doing that will lead you to, it might lead you to more than one class, so make sure you choose Mrs. Iat. That's me. And make sure you choose the isotope gizmo because now there will be two you can choose from. Okay, and you have a screen that looks like this. Yay! Then go to Google Classroom or have the paper copy of the gizmo, which looks like this. And let's get started. So, having doing our doing this, we have just done the notes, hopefully, and these warm-up questions will be something we just talked about. So number one, the particles that make up an atom. We just talked about it. We did that whole atom playlist about it. You know this one. I knew you knew it. It's protons, electrons, and neutrons. Let me make this a bit bigger. I realize it's probably pretty hard to see. There we go, better, right? All right, again, from today's set of notes and from previous notes, hopefully you remember this, which ones are in the nucleus? Two of the three are in the nucleus. Somebody said it, protons and neutrons. Good job, guys, you were listening, I knew you were. And which particles are charged? Okay, so think of charge like positive or negative. So you have positive, negative, and neutral. Those are the three particles. Neutral sounds like neutron having no charge, right? So that means the other two are the protons and electrons. You guys were paying attention today, so I know you knew this. So let's move on to the warm-up. Yay! So it says, check that hydrogen one is selected and check show isotope notation is selected. Hydrogen one, show isotope notation. Oh, I gotta move that. Perfect, look at us, we're professionals. Now we're gonna play around with the protons and neutrons and see what changes. Exciting, right? So first we'll do the protons. I'm gonna change it from one to two. Now look at this, and I don't know if you can see it very well on your screen. It just changed from hydrogen to helium. Let's do that again. It changed to lithium. Interesting. So let's move that back down to one because we want hydrogen. And let's move the neutrons around. So here we go. We added a neutron. It's still hydrogen. Another neutron, still hydrogen. Another still hydrogen. All right. So which particle determines the element? Well, when we change the protons, we change the element. So that's the one that determines it, protons. Which is a different version of the same element? Um, that would be neutrons. When we change the number of neutrons, the element name stayed the same. Yay. Atoms of the same element with different numbers of neutrons are called isotopes. You knew this because you've been listening. So set protons and neutrons to six. Ooh, I can't wait. What did we make? We made carbon 12. Let me show you that because it says which one was created. It's right up here, kids. Carbon 12. <sighs> Carbon 12. What percentage of the element consists of this isotope? Let's find out. This isotope makes up 98.93%. Look at that. Almost all of it. Add a neutron. Well, why not? There we go. Now we have carbon 13.
Which percentage consists of this isotope? Let's find out. 1.07%. Pretty cool. Now let's move on. Activity A, set protons and neutrons to two. Okay. So you see the isotope notation for helium-4, add and subtract protons and neutrons a few times. Notice how the isotopic notation changes when you do this. What does the top number equal? So let's look at the isotope notation. The top number is a four here. Okay, let's change this. When we add a neutron, the top number is five. When we add a neutron, the top number is six. So if we look at this, where does this six come from now? Protons is two, neutrons is four. Somebody did it, two plus four equals six. So that top number is protons plus neutrons. Which particle determines the atomic number? The atomic number. So the atomic number is the bottom number, this two. Okay, changing the number of neutrons does nothing to the atomic number. If we're talking about protons and neutrons, and neutrons do nothing, then what number determines what number determines the atomic number would be the protons. Protons, protons, protons. <sighs> if I teach you nothing else, number of protons equals atomic number equals element identity. Okay? So in isotopic notation, two numbers, the top number is the mass number, or protons plus neutrons. The bottom number is the atomic number. Turn off, show isotope notation? Mm, let's not. We're gonna set protons to three and neutrons to four. That we will do. Protons to three, neutrons to four. So we have lithium seven, cool. A seven and a three and an Li. Hand write in this space or click to edit. Let's see if we can do this. Mm, maybe not. Seven. Ah, I'm doing it. I mean, of course I am. I had faith. Three, L, I. So it's easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Look at that. Set protons to eight and neutrons to nine. So protons to eight, neutrons to nine. And what's it say? How is the isotope written at the top left of the gray box? Top left, oxygen 17. Oxygen dash 17. What does the number next to the element name indicate? Now we did just go over this on the notes. You guys know this, right? The mass number. Or protons plus neutrons. Okay. So we're going to practice turn off, show isotopic notation. Mm, let's not. Use what you have learned to fill in the table. When you are finished, check your answers in gizmo. Perfect. So we're going to start here. Protons, 17 neutrons. I don't know. Mass number 35. So we have to do some subtraction. 35 minus 17 will give us the number of neutrons. So 35 minus 20 is 15, but we didn't minus 20, we minus only 17. So add three to that. So what, 15, 16, 17, 18, I think, not using a calculator. We're not gonna do this isotope notation because that even though I could do it up at the top, I'm not gonna, not gonna bother with that. So here we have 
And we can check this. Let's check this. Number of protons, 17. Am I right? 17. And let's find out. Neutrons, 18. Let's see if I did my math right. Chlorine, 35. I did it. I mean, of course I did. I'm the teacher. So here we have isotope notation of 1 and 1. Remember that bottom number tells us the protons. We already know that there's one proton. The top number is the mass number. So we know the mass number is 1. Okay? And the symbol was given to us right there. So that's pretty easy. We're going to put the H there. Perfect. Now the number of neutrons. Remember we do mass number minus protons. 1 minus 1 equals 0. Didn't need a calculator or my fingers that time. We're going to double check, make sure. We'll set this to 1 and this to 0. There's probably an easier way to do this. And look, the 1 and the 1 is the same. Yay us. So we got it right. So let's see. We have 30 neutrons. 56 is a mass number, and we know that this is iron, Fe. So if we had a handy periodic table, we could look up Fe and get the protons. But I don't have one with me. So we'll do 56 minus 30. So 56, 46, 36, 26. That has to be the number of protons. Now I'm going to double check because doing this without a calculator, you know. So I'm going to set the protons to 26. I'm going to, yes, that is iron. I'm going to set the neutrons to 30, 30. And see if we have 56, 26 Fe. 56, 26 Fe. Yay, yes, we did it. So next we have, let's do the easy part first. This is Si, that's the symbol. Yay. And we have um, 31. That top number is our mass number. You guys knew that. You've been paying attention. Good for you. The bottom number 14 is the number of protons. So now we have to do math. 31 minus 14. Wow. Mental math is not my forte, but I do know 30 minus 15 is 15. So if I take the, thir the 1 from 31 and add it to the 14, that's 30 minus 15. That's how my math brain works without a calculator. So we should have 15 neutrons, but we're going to double check just to be sure. So I'm going to set protons to 14. I'm going to set neutrons to 15. And we'll look at our right here, 29, 14, 29, 14. Did I do that wrong? I did, didn't I? So let's keep going until I have this top number to be 31. Aha, there it is, 17. You guys are probably screaming right now if you're watching this and actually listening to me. Like, how did you mess that up? I don't know. What can I say? It's late and I don't have a calculator. And we have one more. AM. Okay, I'm going to tell you that we probably will never look at AM, americium, in class again. But the only number missing this time is the mass number. So now we have to add 148 to 95 to get our mass number. So 8 plus 5 is the same as 9 plus 4, so that's 13. So that's 3, carry the 1 up. 9 plus 5 is 14, so we got 4, 2, 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, I think. But I'm going to set that up just to be sure. 95, 148. Nine, 95, I'm glad I figured out I could just type the number here. 148. <laughs> yes. This time I did it. 
How do I know? Two, four, three. Perfect. You guys had lots of good practice writing isotope notation. And that's it for today. So I'm going to go back to the top. And I'm going to slowly scroll through without talking. So if you missed anything because I'm babbling at you, now's your chance to catch it again. All right, guys, get that finished and turned in for me.